Hello everybody, how are you doing today? It is Wednesday. Um, I haven't been in the shop for a couple of days. I mean, I've popped in once or twice, but I hadn't really done anything. I mean, uh, had a lot of things going on. Last night we had Ken Rizza from uh, Wood Turners Wonders. Uh, the Ohio Valley Woodworkers Guild invited Ken. He was on his way back from the uh, AEW uh, in Kansas City, and he's on his way home in Atlanta, and they invited him to stop in and... Um, the gentleman that lets us meet at his shop for our wood turners, the Indiana, Kentucky, Illinois Wood Turners Club, is a member of the Ohio Valley Wood Workers Guild. And so they had a get together at his shop, which is a, it's an awesome shop. I mean, this thing is awesome. And they invited Ken in and he brought, he brought his trailer and all the stuff that he had left from the show. And uh, he talked about uh, his sharpening tools and his sanding tools and everything. And, uh, Man, it was a great it was a great informational seminar, and then he gave us some deals that uh, were really good. <laughs> uh, I picked up an 80 grit CBN wheel. It's an eight inch CBN wheel. Now I have over here a brand new 220 grit CBN wheel that I got from him a couple of years ago, and I have an eight inch low speed Rikon grinder that I never set up. Uh, I've been using my high speed grinder. That's getting ready to change. Also, while we're there. He's got these new discs that he's selling, and uh, they go from uh, 60 grit to uh, 600 grit, and he threw a bunch of packs out in the audience, and I caught one, so I got a, a, some of those, which meant that I had to buy one of these little pads, and it's got this little um, lock on the back. You put this little mandrel on it, and uh, it's sanding pads. Now, I haven't been doing any bowls or anything like that, but um, you know, you never know what I might get into, so that's nice to have. Uh, it may be overkill for a pin. And I got these washers. Now, I don't know if you've seen these washers before. I'll show them to you as I put the uh, grinder together. The washers are both concave, and they're kind of a little larger than the, uh, the diameter of the shaft. You put a little grease between them. You put them on with the two concave uh, sections facing each other. And when you crank down the bolt, they get off balance a little bit. What that does, though, is it aligns the wheel uh, so that the wheel is perfectly balanced and so I bought two sets of those they were five bucks a piece uh, so that I can align the wheels uh, when I put them on because I've got the two um, um, CBN wheels so I can get them all aligned when I put them on the grinder so um, I'd like to fiddle with that a little bit tonight and then uh, let me show you something this is my old six inch grinder it is a high speed grinder and I've got my Wolverine system mounted to it uh, what I want to do is after I get the wheels on this Rikon uh, I want to get the Rikon mounted to this jig and adjust it, you know, left, right, up, down, whatever I have to do to get realigned so that I can take advantage of the slow speed grinder and the CBNs. Here's the uh, 220 grit CBN wheel that I got. I got it from him, uh, but it was about two years ago. Look at the dust on that thing. So I'm going to work on that for a little bit tonight. I don't think I'll finish that tonight because I would also like to get started. I've got this uh, state of Kentucky that I want to build for my sister, and I would like to at least pick out the six foot worth of boards and get them laid out on the floor here so I can kind of get a visual of, you know, just how big that's going to be. And uh, I'm going to need to joint those boards and get them glued up. Uh, so maybe I'll do some jointing tonight. Matter of fact, I think I'll work on that because I'd really like to get that project out the door. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like up in the air on what I want to do. So let me just get the stuff together for the CBNs. I'll fiddle with that for just a little bit, and then I'll work on a little bit of the uh, wood for the, the Kentucky sign, and we'll just see how far we get, and I'll keep you guys posted. All right, how about that? Well, guys, I made a little bit of progress on the grinder tonight. Uh, I'm going to show that to you in a second. Um, I've got a little ways to go. I didn't quite make it to laying out the boards for the Kentucky sign, but I had a break for dinner in there. You know, went out with the family and then I came back and I got back on this and I'm at a good stopping point for tonight. Let me show you what I've got. I've got the grinder mounted to this board. It's the board that I used with the old grinding system. I'm gonna just basically reuse it. I've got both my CBN wheels. I got my 80 grit for shaping and my 220 grit for putting a nice edge on. When you mount this to the board, you'll notice I've got a riser block underneath of it. This little dot here needs to be six and a quarter to six and a half inches above the block. Well, I thought I had it there, but I must have measured wrong because I'm exactly six inches. So what I'm going to have to do is add a quarter inch riser block to this one. 
which shouldn't be a huge deal. I'll just unbolt it, and I've got some quarter-inch uh, ply. I'll cut a piece out, mount it under there, and it should work out okay. Once that's done, I've got two of these bases for the Wolverine system, and I need to mount them onto the board. And the way they mount is the center of this triangle goes right at the center of the wheel. And I'll actually mount it right at the edge of this board because I used, where's my square? I used this square and I lined my wheels up to where they just rub. So that way the center or the edge of the wheel needs to be perpendicular or parallel to the edge of this, uh, this um, base. So I can just butt this right to the edge of the board bolt it down with three screws and I'm good to go. And I, like I said, I'll have to center it first, but I'm not gonna mount these until I get my quarter inch shim under there. It's about 9.15, so I've had enough for tonight, so I'm calling it quits. I'm at a good stopping point. Like I said, the, the quarter inch board won't be a big problem. I'll unbolt that and the, the shim that's there will be a great template. So I just draw my holes, cut it to the same size, bolt it back down and I'm ready to put the bases on. So if I get out here tomorrow night, I can't remember what I have tomorrow night, I'm hoping I get back out here. Um, I hope to finish that up, fire it up for the first time, and sharpen myself uh, a tool because uh, I want to. I, I really have been dying to uh, use this shaping wheel. Um, I've got a. I've got a bowl gouge, and a couple of fellows from my club came over and worked with me. Uh, one came to the house, and one I went to a to a. Uh, a wood carving show and we had a lathe there and those guys worked with me on using a bowl gouge and I've got a bowl gouge but it's got a traditional grind on it and I want to do the swept back grind that's what both of their tools had and they taught me how to use that and how to ride the bevel and turn it into the cut and it it really cut sweet so I want to do that with my bowl gouges I want to shape the one I have and then I want to use this 220 to put that beautiful razor sharp edge on it so hopefully tomorrow night we'll be doing that uh, and maybe then I'll also get a chance to lay out some of the wood for the, uh, the Kentucky sign. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a great evening.